know what you're doing, sis, because at the end you're gonna be snatched. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Natasha. Welcome, go ahead, join the family, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you like what you see already. Go ahead, okay? So today I'm gonna be doing a review on the new Morphe foundation. This is the Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. And um I'm not gonna say anything right now. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you guys keep watching so before you keep watching make sure you guys like this video for me subscribe to my channel and keep watching all right so let's get straight into today's video um i typically don't do like one product reviews but i was like you know why not this is a new foundation you guys know i live for foundation and skin and this seems to be right up my alley as far as the foundation so let's get into it so it's gonna kind of sort of be a full face of morphe if you really think about it because i grabbed my other morphe products that i have so we're just gonna hope for the best um i hope this foundation matches because i actually got um a shade last week and i tried it i normally don't cheat and try stuff but um i tried it and it was too dark so i want to shade down because it wasn't like too too dark but it was like too dark so hopefully this matches Child, just a woof. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, necessary. So today's foundation is by Morphe, of course. This is the this is the Filter Effect Foundation. So this is a soft focus foundation, and it has hyaluronic acid, which boosts moisture levels, and vitamin E that delivers antioxidant protection. Sounds good, don't know all that means, but it sounds good. It also has a natural buildable coverage. You guys know recently that's my vibe, I really like that. It's long wearing, sweat proof and transfer proof. It's free of oils, fragrance and parabens. And it also is a luxe formula crafted in Italy. They are stepping it up, baby. So um, I know a lot of people are watching this and they see like hyaluronic acid, moisture, and if you're oily, you're like, no. But because it is oil free, you probably will be able to wear this. Um, it's long wearing, so again, if you're oily, this may work for you. Just because you are oily, that does not mean that you have to wear matte foundations. Matte foundations are always not the way to go. They're really not like an everyday type of foundation to me, in my opinion. It changes the texture of your skin. Don't get me wrong, I love a matte look, but it's just not very practical all the time. So, so far what I'm getting from this foundation is it's advertised as like a skincare kind of foundation, an everyday foundation, a flawless foundation. Shayla was the face of this. I'm not sure if she helped like with all the, the background stuff or if she was just the face of it, but a great person to pick because her face is always on point. So congrats to Shayla on that. And so I'm just gonna try this. So I got this from Ulta. It launched at Ulta last week. Today's the, I don't wanna say what today is because I'm really bad at editing and getting stuff up. But today's the 8th um, and it launched sometime last week. I wanna say the 2nd or something like that. But it doesn't launch on Morphe's website until the 16th. So I will have this up before it's on the website. If you're interested, ch ooh, check out your, check out Ulta or check out Ulta's website if you would like to purchase this before it launches on the website. So um, this was, let me see how much this was. Wow, it's literally completely out of stock online. Wow. Majority of the shades are out of stock online. Okay, so this was $20 in store, and it came with a free brush, which I actually was going to get the brush anyways, because I kind of liked that it was like your typical foundation brush, but it was just like a little bit thicker. I kind of liked that. So um, I got the shade Deep. Sorry, I got the shade Rich 32, which I'm hoping is not too dark because the last one I got was like, it was pushing it. So we're gonna see how this is looking. I should have, this might work. Oh my God, this might work. I'm excited. I had to go wet my sponge and I'm gonna use a Morphe sponge today because why not, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and apply this. Um, for those of you guys, this actually is gonna be a little too dark. Or maybe not. I don't know we're gonna see but um for those of you guys who are curious I do have normal skin so I can pretty much wear any kind of foundation matte luminous um, 
in between. It just all depends on your preference. I t recently, you guys know my style of makeup always changes and the kind of look that I always like changes, but right now I'm in this like super skin-like look, not necessarily dewy, um, but I just like it to look like skin. So that's the vibe that I've been on. And so this foundation is perfect. That's why I ran to grab it because I'm like, I need it. And please don't come for my lace, you guys. I literally put my wig on in like five minutes, so. <laughs> oh, I didn't put primer on. Wow, this might not be good, but oh well. I didn't put primer on. I was gonna put on my Fenty primer, but I already put on serum and moisturizer, so hey. We're just gonna keep it pushing. And this is a little bit dark, but I'm not mad at it. And there's so many shades, like I'm like, I don't know what shade I'm supposed to get. There was a pretty decent, shade selection in my opinion. I so this is the foundation on one side of my face. Of course you can still see my blemishes, but that's nothing new if you guys are not new to this channel. Um, but it is darker, but you guys see it's matching my neck. It's not doing anything weird. It literally is like matching. So I do look dark right now, but you guys know I'm gonna finesse it and I'm not going to get another shade right now. I'll probably buy another one if I end up liking the wear of this. But for now, this is what we're working with. And, and I can tell already this oxidizes because from what I pumped out, you guys see it's a little bit lighter and then what dried, it's super dark. So I would say if you think you're a certain shade, just go a shade down because it is gonna oxidize. I'm seeing that with my own two eyes. And I'm just a mess today. I did not even do my eyebrows. But I wanted to really focus on the skin though. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows after. And I do actually like this brush, to be honest with you. It reminds me of that um, Makeup Forever foundation brush. I think I have it somewhere. It kind of reminds me of, yeah, the Makeup Forever brush, but I think the Morphe one's better because it has like a little, you have more control. This one's just like a flat brush, but it's still kind of thick. I don't know, I like it. But this brush is definitely um, Shayla approved because if you watch her videos, she actually likes like a foundation type of brush. So I think she may have came up with this or they, you know, did this for her. And it's so weird. Maybe because my eyebrows aren't done yet, everything's just a lot, tone, a lot more toned down and subtle. I feel like this is a foundation you can wear by itself because it literally looks like my skin. I have this like nice radiant glow. It just looks so pretty. It literally looks so pretty. I love this so far. So I'm not gonna add any more foundation on because you guys know I don't like to like pack on foundation. I rather do my thing or work my magic with concealer. So I'm gonna go on with Morphe concealer because like why not? Um, and I have the shades C425 and 36.5. That's all I had. So we're just gonna make it work. So let me tell you guys about these concealers. I actually love these concealers. I have these concealers at work in every single shade because they are a staple for your kit. If you're a makeup artist, get these concealers. But they're very matte. So <sighs> I feel like it was a great thing that they reformulated the foundation, or not reformulated, launched a new foundation because the other foundation was so matte with this foundation, it was just too much. It was just matte and matte and matte, and it just doesn't look good. So I like the foundation, the original foundation separately, and I like the original concealer, or the concealer separately as well. So um, I don't like them together. It's just too matte for my likings, but it's a great product. And I, I don't think I've used this on my channel in so long. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of the uh, 3.65 because it's like really brightening and put that like under there When I do my makeup like this without my brows on I feel like a real makeup artist like I'm like you know what you're doing sis because at the end you're gonna be snatched <laughs> Because I highlight I wasn't worried about the um, foundation being a little bit dark um, which actually it matches my neck perfectly like there's no line of demarcation or anything it actually matches perfect that's the thing about being on camera like a lot of times people will be like that's too light or that's too dark but you have to realize like 
everything doesn't translate on camera and I'm no techie person so um I don't know how to make it look like real life <laughs> sometimes it looks perfect sometimes it doesn't and the times when I be trying to tell y'all it looks fine that's when it wants to look hella wonky on camera but just trust me okay like look at how it's blending I think the two of these together are a dream like I am living right now and these two together are blending out like a dream and I knew it would because the foundation isn't matte foundation has moisture it allows you to blend it gives you time to move like look at how that blended out like ah. I'm gonna be going in with the morphe setting powder this is a shade translucent this all I had I actually grabbed this from work because I really do use this I actually really 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 like this powder it gives you this super filtered um soft and filtered look but it's not dry okay it's matte but it's a very like i can't explain it's a very soft powder like it's not gritty at all i really like this so i'm gonna go ahead and set that under eye i don't think i've ever used this on myself though but when i use it at work i can't use everything you guys i can't <laughs> it's just not realistic so the powder wow <laughs> You guys, it's the face for me. I'm gonna go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I don't think Morphe has like an all over face powder. They do. That's my bad. I always be forgetting stuff, y'all, but they have a face powder and it's actually really good. It's very full coverage, but I just don't have any in my shade. But anyways, I'm gonna use my Mineralized Skin Finish because I don't want that super like matte look today. I just want it to be very soft and like, airy and any kind of like baked powder like this or skin finish is going to give you that look so i'm just going to go ahead and set the rest of the face blend everything together now i'm going to bronze i'm going to use the original bronzer the brontour because i actually love this stuff um but this is a new bronzer the glamour bronze it's a little bit warmer but i just like the finish of this one so i'm gonna find my brush and then bronze so I like to swirl the both of them. One side's matte, one side shimmer. When I mix the both, it gives me this like actual bronze look, like just very healthy. So I'm just gonna go like so. I think they discontinued the bronze tour. I'm not sure, but I'm holding on to mine for dear life, you guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. I don't even use it like that because I'm like, if I don't have this anymore, I might cry. Tell y'all something, okay? I absolutely love contouring my nose when my brows aren't done because I could really get in there, like. So, um, of course, I'm gonna be using my Morphe brow pencil because I use it all the time, so I gotta use it right now. And um, I'm gonna just do my brows really quickly. Doing your brows after your foundation and stuff is actually way easier. I don't know why I don't do it more often. Like, it's something wrong with me, but I promise you it's so much easier. Like it literally takes like two seconds and you don't overfill your brow. So you get a lot, you get a way lighter brow when you do your eyebrows after. Um, I got these and I want to kind of try, I haven't even opened this palette yet. So I'm like, while we're here, I might as well do it. Not like mentally prepared to be doing an eye look today. I'm really, really not. I'm really, really not. Okay, how about this? Let's make a deal. <laughs> if y'all want another video doing a complete full face of Morphe, like I'm talking like um, primer, powders, bronzers, eyes, lips, then we can do that. But we're just going to focus on the foundation today. I think that's fair. This might be dumb, but it's fair. So I'm just going to dust this away. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a full face with Morphe products and then I'm going to use all Morphe brushes and everything so that it can be like a, a good video because I have a lot of Morphe stuff. It's just not in front of me and I wasn't prepared for that until I started working and I'm like, I should have done a full face of Morphe. But we're going to do one and if I like this foundation, then I'll use this foundation. If I don't end up really liking this foundation, which so far it's that girl, um, I'll just use the other one because I really did enjoy the other foundation and I'm using this elf blush just to kind of set that and it's not going to stay like that you guys relax <laughs> so for some reason on this side my blush is kind of lifting not quite sure what that's about it's not that big of a deal I think it has to do with the cream blush so yeah just gonna put some powder on my face one more time 
just to tone that down and blend everything together. So now I'm gonna use my Morphe setting spray. This is the regular continuous spray, but this is the uh, Sweetie one. I love the Luminous spray, but I've been gravitating more towards this like mist lately, so. I'm gonna put some lashes on and I'll be back. So guys, I went ahead and put on some lashes and some gloss and this is pretty much the completed look. I absolutely love this foundation. Like this is gonna be something that I grab for from now on because one, it's more on the affordable side so I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath just to record and take it off. <laughs> and second, I just love the finish of it. I'm like really, really into that my skin but better type of foundation but it still has a nice coverage i can still um how can i explain this i can still wear this and still look beat and i can wear this and look natural so it's like the best of both worlds that's why i love medium coverage foundations if you're a full coverage foundation stan switch it up and i promise you're gonna like it because sometimes full coverage is just too much it's too cakey you gotta do too much work i promise you guys this foundation is amazing. So if you're on the market for something that's your skin but better and only costs $20, that is great for a foundation now because you know, makeup is, is skyrocketing in prices. So I think $20 is pretty decent. And I really feel like Morphe did a great job with the shade range as well as the formulation. So I definitely think it's something that you need to go out and grab. So what I'm actually about to do is it's three o'clock right now and I'm gonna wear this until about seven o'clock. I have to run to two places and I have to do some things around the house. So I'm gonna see how the foundation wears within that um, time frame. And that will kind of give me a pretty good idea of how the foundation is gonna wear in general. I'm not gonna do no 16, 20 hour wear test because I don't wear makeup for that long. Typically when I, typically when I wear makeup, it's from four to six hours. I literally don't wear makeup any longer than that. So why would I? Do a wear test that long sorry sis uh -huh. but um yeah so i'm gonna check back in and let you guys know how it's wearing and how it looks so get a good look at it right now it looks flawless like i love how my face looks i just love a natural look you guys i'm so glad i actually didn't do eyeshadow because i would have been like uh, but it looks great so i will see you guys later all right guys so it is now 709 like i said i will be back at seven and i've had this on for exactly four hours so that's not like the longest wear but for me and my skin type again i'm normal this is like the oiliest it's gonna get if i wear this for another two hours it's gonna look just like this i have not touched up my face i ran a few errands earlier i cleaned up my room a little bit and i also just took a picture so that's why i have this on because i went and took a picture so i've been out and about a little bit i wasn't just sitting in the house like this so um i think it wears beautifully i honestly think it even looks better like i like when my makeup looks like this like you guys see my makeup right after it's done but i personally like my makeup when it's like settled has a little bit of the natural oils coming through like it literally just looks like skin um all i did was apply a little bit of gloss um when i was taking my picture i did not touch my face up which made me nervous because i'm like if i take this picture and i got shine all over i'm gonna be mad but my pictures came out great um and yeah i just absolutely love it like it just looks great so if you're looking for a new foundation something a little bit more on the affordable side something more for everyday wear but if you want it to still be beat you can wear it when you're going out or whatever this foundation is perfect you guys are definitely going to see me using this a lot more i'm probably going to um get another shade but the ulta by my house doesn't have any more and there's none online so um i think i will go like a shade or two down because i'm 32 i got rich 32 so i might go a shade or two down but it looks great right now like i know in the earlier clips it may have looked like okay tasha that's too dark but i actually like how it fits i feel really like brown and tan and sun-kissed so yeah i love it i love how everything looks i love my hair Oh my gosh. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys like videos like this, make sure you guys are liking this video and commenting below, letting me know that you guys like the quick little review videos and I will do more, okay? So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.